Good morning. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the My Crypto Journey live stream here for Coffee and Crypto on a beautiful sunny day down here in sunny San Diego. So glad that I'm having good weather. If any of you guys are from sunny, uh, Southern California, you would know the weather has been absolute butt cheeks, but it's much, much better. And of course, if you're watching this on replay, new starts at the five minute mark but do me a favor smash that like button before we get started and we have a decent amount of news to talk about today which is very very good and of course the overall news right the news the biggest news is the crypto markets are showing lots of strength right now especially ethereum contrary to what a lot of people thought was gonna happen after the eth merge but once you figured out the kind of the specifics and kind of like the particulars of what uh you know how much eth is going to be able to be unstaked all at once and those sorts of things a lot of people are doing the opposite of what people thought right so it's looking good for the overall cryptocurrency market ethereum's been absolutely sending bitcoin is showing strength all while u.s markets are in a little bit of i would say a little bit of uncertain times right now um, we had some earnings report come out for some banks which looks stellar Still a lot of uncertainty in traditional markets, but crypto is looking strong. Will that continue going into May? Because May 3rd is a big day. Will we continue to raise interest rates or will we finally pivot? We'll see what's going on. But first, smash the like button. And you know I got to say what's up to the babies in the chat. Happy Friday, babies. Who do we got in the chat? Who we got in the chat? Who we got? We got Javi in the chat, of course. Javi. We got that guy. What's up, baby? Selmo Fud. Selmo Fud. What's up, Jayhawk? I was in the Telegram for about an hour yesterday chatting at 5 p.m. Miss Jayhawk in there, but we were roasting him anyways. James, good morning. Sacco Hunt, somebody speak to my manager. We have Racket Club, my ultra journey. DJ, ba 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 Bree in the chat. What's up, babies? Blockchain Betty, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Sean. Good morning. What's up, bro? Dylan, good morning. Dylan is has bullish. Just a man. Good morning. Good morning. Smash the like button on the way in, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, remember that old, uh, remember that Cash App murder that happened? The, the the founder of Cash App got murdered the other day. Uh, I thought it was a huge crypto conspiracy, but that's going to be one of the last stories of the day. And we'll touch on that. Very, very interesting what happened there. That's crazy. Tyra, good morning. Good morning. How Lou? How you doing? How you doing? <clears throat> Who we have? We have Robert. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? How you doing? What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? Did you guys have a good night's sleep? I had a pretty decent night's nice sleep last night. What you guys? Get, what were you guys up to last night? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? And everything looking good. XRP. I, I think I got to start making XRP um, videos because people love XRP. Anytime I put a poll with XRP, everyone votes for XRP. So maybe I just got to start making XRP content. You know, be good. What's up, Frank? Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yes, like the stream. Push up in the old algorithm, baby. Good morning is not British. Is that British? Dude, I've been spoiling myself with uh, Better Buzz Coffee like for like three days straight. I got to slow down. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, I think I think XRP news is is the best. Bree, another late night? Well, you're here this morning, Bree. What's up, Edgar? How you doing, baby? Is Timbo Slice in the, in the house? What's up, Timbo? I'm using the... I'm trying to use the YouTube chat, so... Uh, I think Rodney should audition for a Marvel DC superhero uh, video. You think so? I'm getting kind of swolskis. Look at boys getting swolskis. Y'all th thought I'm playing, huh? I told you I'm getting in shape again. Y'all thought I'm playing, huh? Y'all thought I'm playing, huh? Huh? You thought I was playing around? You thought, chill. You think I'm doing these two days for nothing? <laughs> now nah, it feels good to get back in shape again, though. R really, it's just eating like right, eating proper. Like, like last night, even I had a little date like a date night last night. It's still like the, my diet was still in my head. You know what I mean? What's up, baby? We got some. We got, some, we got, we got the squad. What's up, Anthony? How you doing? Oh, you, uh, Anthony says I got a letter from a law firm suing FTX. Probably get really well, okay, a class action lawsuit. Hey, they might open up. Echoes from above. What's up, baby? How's it going? How's it going, bro? Are you playing uh, clear value tax of shitcoin? <laughs> I got to roast CVT for a little bit. <laughs> it's, he's been more active on Twitter, which which I like. So it's been nice. Yeah, Mononoke Inu. It looks like Mononoke Inu is dumping a little bit. I'll make a video on that a little later, but I thought that was hilarious. Guys, for for uh, you know, for future reference or uh, you know, I, I do not have any Mononoke Inu. I would not buy that crypto again. It's just making videos on it because people watch it and, and stuff like that. So, you know what I mean? So, all right, just about time to start the news here. What's up, Triple J? How you doing, baby? What's up? 
What's up? What's up? What's up? How's it going? All right, let's get to the what's up, Racket Club. Let's get to the market real quick. If I missed anybody, I'm sorry, but you are late. Okay, so the entire cryptocurrency market looking really, really strong right now. And of course, this is at, at a time where I thought, and a lot of people thought that the cryptocurrency market would take a fat dump. The truth is, DCA all day, baby, and that has to be the way, right? DCA, that has to be the way because no one really knows what the hell is going to happen in a market and in a time where everything doesn't make sense. And sometimes it makes sense, and things that make sense don't make sense, and don't make it just doesn't nothing adds up so just dollar cost average into your favorite strong projects with good fundamentals and the importance of, of dollar cost averaging you know i can't overstate it but what's more important is that make sure your dollar cost averaging into projects that actually look good and decent right who are thriving in a bear market right now and uh, that's really important that that's i know it sounds corny and lame but it's doing your own research right it's not listening to influencers so much. A little bit, yes, because that helps you do part of your research, but looking at it yourself, right? And that includes, hey, man, being active on Twitter, being active in their socials, telegrams, discords, those sorts of things, and really understanding what the hell is going on with these projects so you can find these top projects that may be undervalued right now, but are going to be something in the future because you know what they're working on. I'm talking about products like Wagme, like MetaMonkey AI, like Volt, like these small, some of these smaller cap crypto products, Bone, right? Uh, you know, uh, Tectonic you know, sheep, ship, right? Whatever. You're looking at these projects and saying, oh, okay, well, they have decent fundamentals when it comes to at least cr the cryptocurrency world, right? Um, so dollar cost average, you know, all day is the way. It has to be, right? It has to be. Since there's so much uncertainty in the market, no one knows what's going to happen, right? The overall cryptocurrency market is at 1.28 trillion. And of course, the big winner is Ethereum, 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 right? The daddy network, right? The, 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 everyone and their moms is a ETH killer, but when, when when push comes to shove, even though it's expensive, even though it's slow and clunky sometimes, you know what I mean? We just had the last final upgrade. A lot of ETH was unstaked. And it turns out people are staking more ETH because they believe in it. And that's very, a very, 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 very good, uh, um, um, very, very good sign. Uh, Echoes, you don't think he has a, he doesn't have a Twitter? Oh, really? Does he not? I, I think I found his Twitter on a link to one of his pages one time. Because one if, if Clear Value Tax doesn't have a Twitter, um uh he has there's one that's verified. So someone's paying for a fake account then. Um yes, yeah, so yes, yeah, so yeah, we'll talk about that here in a second. But of course. Yeah, let me know, Echoes. Let me let me let me echo. Uh excuse me. Uh, text him echoes, let me know. Because if he doesn't, someone has a verified one of his. So that'd be nice if he if if I knew that. But it seems like whatever that Twitter is doing, uh, you know, it, it's sharing his same sentiment. So, um, but yeah, the overall cryptocurrency market looking pretty solid. All of our favorite small caps pumping MMAI, Wagme, right, Bone, Volt. Everything's looking good, man. Looking green today, and, and let's hope this continues. Now the U.S. market's kind of half and half. Me, it looks like they're overall uh, down pretty bad. But big banks uh, kick off earnings season with the bank. So. First quarter results of the nation's largest lenders demonstrated that why they are to, uh, they are better positioned than smaller rivals to withstand recent challenges. Now, no shit, these big banks are uh, in a better position to stand, uh, you know, to to get through all this nonsense compared to smaller banks. And of course, we've seen uh, quite a few banks collapse. A lot of tech banks, right? We saw Silicon Valley Bank, Silvergate Bank, and then of course the other one was um, I forgot the other one. Um, but a lot of people really waiting on these er earnings report, and it looks like they did pretty well. So. You know, what's interesting, though, is that what we're starting to see is a cryptocurrency market kind of do its own thing while traditional markets kind of do their own thing, which a lot of people like, which a lot of people don't. But I know that um, uh, uh, what makes the cryptocurrency market so predictable is what's happening with the rest of the world. So either way, I've been dollar cost averaging. It doesn't really matter. It's going to be very, very, very interesting to see what happens the next month or so. So the, the interesting thing is that, the you know, the Fed minutes came out and uh, I know that they wanted to raise the interest rates uh, in the last meeting by uh, 50 basis points. But they ended up going with two five because of the whole banking situation. Um, so maybe we might get another uh, raise of 25 basis points during the next meeting. We'll see. Uh, banks looking good, though. Uh, and then they were talking about maybe some sort of mild short recession or something, uh, something like that. And of course, that would start with banks and go into the broader economy. Uh, and then, of course, banks will become more defensive and those sorts of things. So that's a little bit of the actual regular ass world. Now let's get into the cryptocurrency world. Yeah, but let me know, Echoes, uh, text him and let me know if he has a Twitter, because if he doesn't, then someone has a verified account of his and he should probably uh, report it. You know what I mean? He should probably report it because that's not good. 
All right, so the first piece of news is FTX to make a comeback. Now, the poll of the day, um, would you trust FTX? Um, it's not the one that I followed. The, the verified one is fake. Dude, can you send me a real link of that one? That's really important. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Echoes. Dude, he has to, get, he has to report that because it's verified, right? Uh, but the FTX um, exchange is making a comeback. They recovered a ton of money yesterday. And the question is, the, the poll of the day is, would you use FTX under new management? You know, and, and I see that a lot of people are saying yes. A lot of people are saying no. But here's the thing. And, and Ozzy Austin, 80% of you saying no. Now, Ozzy Austin made a good point yesterday. He said, hey, man, the fact that, you know, the FTX is going through so much right now, they're really going through and looking through everything. Of course, SBF's trial starts in October. I mean, they're probably going to be really paying attention and being under a microscope for the rest of his existence. So new management may be good, right? That may be good for FTX and it may start to recover. Now, yesterday we saw FTX, right? The token, abs or FTT token, absolutely send, right? I think it went like 100% in like a day, right? Now it's down 13% right here. But if we go back to the last seven days, look at this, look at this huge spike, right? Uh, you know, $1. thirty cents all the way up to $2.30 or $2.60. So we see a 100% increase, which is absolutely insane, which goes to show in this space that anything is possible. We're seeing dead cryptocurrency products like Mononoke Emu Pump, right? Um, so let's read this uh, article and see exactly how people are feeling about FTX. If this little page would load. It's like a watcher guru just doing its own thing right now. But I thought this was pretty interesting. Um, and, you know, what we really saw after the collapse is John Ray really go in there and really find out that they've been just not doing anything correctly. You know what I mean? All right. So that's not really loading, but who cares? All right. So uh, bankrupt FTX recovers $7.3 billion in assets and, it's, and uh, it considers a Q2 relaunch. That's a lot of that's a lot of funds recovered, which makes me happy because, of course, they have to pay out everyone they owe money to. But hopefully, you know, people that use this exchange and, and lost some money and were affected will be able to recover some of the money they lost. So bankrupt crypto exchange FTX has recovered more than $7.3 billion in both cash and crypto assets. Moreover, the total is more than $800 million since January, according to the company's attorney at a bankruptcy court hearing taking place today. Reuters uh, reported the recovery at today's hearing, which is undoubtedly a positive development for the failed exchange. Yet it arrives alongside the news that it's considering to relaunch in Q2, the attorney said at Wednesday U.S. bankruptcy court hearing. Now, the cool thing about a relaunching is that it's, you know, over time, instead of just shutting down completely, over time, it's probably going to be able to uh, come up with the fund to uh, refund all the customers that lost their money, right? The money that the, the people that have their money in the exchange. And I know that maybe a lot of people may think that as soon as this, uh, you know, company becomes, you know, it starts to operate again, that people will withdraw their money at, an, at a crazy pace. But maybe not. Maybe they will trust this company going forward. And maybe it might just be easier for them, right? Say, for example, you have 100K in FTX, right? You left it there and they reopen. And they say, hey, you can withdraw your, 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 you know, your 100K. Or you can keep it here under new management and offer more transparency, right? Actually have some sort of like record and bookkeeping, right? Uh, you know, unlike what SBF and friends were doing, right? So FTX recovers billions in assets. Uh, it was one of the biggest financial scandals ever committed. Uh, the greatest controversy in the crypto space. Moreover, as Sam Bankman fried orchestrated one of the largest fraud schemes, the entire industry suffered to find its footing once again. And it's true. Once FTX collapsed, it brought down the entire market. Now, six months after the, deb the debacle came to light, it has been reported that the bankrupt FTX exchange has recovered $7.3 in assets. Moreover, reported... Uh, reports have noted that the failed exchange is considering a potential relaunch in Q2. Uh, the Reuters report notes that the exchange officially recovered the billion in both cash. And is this just, is it repeat? The story just repeating? Wow, it's, it just repeated twice. That's weird that they did that. Well, okay, so I don't know why I repeated twice like that, same paragraphs, but FTX is uh, recovering lots of money, which is good. And hopefully it'll help out some of the people who were affected. And it might open up under new management. And I think that it would be successful. I know it's kind of crazy, but I think it would be successful, right? I think it would be very, very successful. Like I said, the, the biggest reason is because it'd be like really, people would be really paying attention to it, right? What's up, Ryan Patrick Escobaya? I warrior. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The insider hacker and in FTX is still at large. I don't know much about any, uh, I know, we, we know that the Gary Huang guy, right? Um, 
uh, and some of the other guys that uh, they admitted to like, you know, uh, so some of the issues with, I don't know about there was an, a hacker, right? The, some of the issues, oh, someone who stole a bunch of, so yeah, when FTX went down, there was someone moving a ton of funds, right? So that was a thing. But I remember that uh, some of the people, the, some of the engineers and developers uh, for FTX, I know they were allowing people to um, get away with things that uh, the regular customer shouldn't have gotten away with, right? Like, uh, you know, uh, different like kind of privileges for trading. So. It, it, it most notably, I'll made a research, right? What's up, Trucker BB? Doge dropping. Buy it, buy it. Yeah, Doge is dropping a little bit, but that's that's normal, right? So that's the FTX news. And uh, let me know if you guys would use FTX again. It looks like uh, 82% of you say no. And WebTorp celebrating 13 months as a degenerate. Says biggest financial scandal so far. Fed says hold my beer. Yeah, a lot of people don't like what's going on with the uh, U.S. government right now, right, WebTorp? And thank you so much for 13 months, man. That's a long time, bro. I appreciate you. That ETH logo looks oh so nice next to your name. What's up, 2-Bit? How you doing? Caroline Allison, haven't heard much of her. You know, what's interesting is that they're being quiet, right? And I'm sure they're being quiet because their attorney says, hey, their attorneys are telling them to shut up, right? So that makes sense. All right. So the next story is ETH is starting to rise. And in fact... More people are staking their ETH, which we like to see. Uh, give me one second. So $198 million in Ethereum staked ne uh, to network in the last 24 hours. Now, we know the Shanghai upgrade, right, was, you know, a lot of people thought it was going to cause a mass sell-off of Ethereum, right? Because... A lot of staked ETH that was staked in 2020, where if you look at the price of ETH in 2020, it was a, from a couple hundred bucks to a hundred bucks, right? And in that in that range. And now, even at you know today's price, um, even though we met, the, you know the the upgrade didn't happen in the middle of the um, the, the the peak of the bull market, pe well, I thought that people would probably take a lot of profits because I mean they're up significantly, even at 2,000 bucks, right? They're up significantly. Um, but it turns out that's not the case. Now, of course, uh, a lot of people that were staking their ETH, they got sent the rewards automatically. And I'm sure some of some of those people cashed out that. Um, but we're not seeing what a lot of people thought, which was people massively selling off a lot of ETH. Now, this was a huge story like six months ago in preparation for this uh, upgrade, right? But a lot of these ETH validators are not moving. They're not going anywhere because they see the future in ETH. In fact, more people are staking. More people are locking their ETH uh, away to become validators, right? Uh, the move from proof of work to proof of stake makes this very, very uh, appealing to people that want to stake their ETH, right? Of course, a lot of Bitcoin maxis don't like it because they think it's more uh, centralized. But, uh, you know, I, I heard this in a news story a few days ago. Hypothetically, if people wanted to unstake all their ETH at once, the minimum amount of time would be 500 days. So it's not like you could just take out all your ETH all at once if you want to. It takes time, right? But it shows that people are more and more bullish on Ethereum. So $198 million in Ethereum staked to network in the last 24 hours. So amid concerns over mass withdrawals, in the last 24 hours, roughly 94, uh, pretty much 95,000 Ethereum has been deposited to the network. So people are like, yeah, we're doubling down, right? Which is a good thing to see. Love it, love it. Uh, at least a few Ethereum enthusiasts are uh, as bullish as ever on the network. Per data collected by Nansen, gross staking deposits have hit $198 million and 95,000 ETH over the past 24 hours. Uh, staking has taken the center stage following the network's latest Shanghai upgrade on Wednesday. This change allowed users who potentially had their ETH locked up for two years to finally withdraw their holdings. Staking is when users pledge cryptocurrency to the network to keep it running. Ethereum requires staking because it now runs on a proof of stake blockchain, which uses validators instead of miners to secure the network. Yes, and do me a favor, smash that like button, baby. Let's go. Those who stake earn digital currency rewards in the process. Ethereum made up uh, made the move to proof of stake last year in a highly anticipated transition known as the merge. Getting back to the latest data, ETH deposits are still negative. However, indicating that there remain overall more uh, entities withdrawing than staking assets. That's expected since it's just the beginning. And this is this was expected, right? So people are going to unstake their ETH, right? But it looks like people are actually, it's, a, it's not some huge sell-off like we thought was going to happen, right? Uh, that's expected since it's just the beginning. Nancy's analyst Martin Lee told Decrypt, validators have, uh, that have accrued excess ETH from earnings would want to unstake since they're only accruing rewards on 32 ETH. So anything extra doesn't really matter, right? So might as well take the extra ETH out, right? Um, 
<clears throat> validators can either choose between a partial exit or a full exit when leaving the network. A partial exit refers to validators simply skimming off any occurred rewards, but continue to keep their 32 ETH stake on the network. Now, what I read, it turns out that people had an average of 34 ETH. So it looks like, you know, if we if everyone was the same, um, you know, the uh, rewards would be roughly like a net for two ETH for everybody, which is not terrible, right? Which is not terrible at all. A full exit refers to validators that choose to withdraw their rewards, initial 32 ETH deposits, and leave uh, the network entirely. Interestingly, yesterday, there was even a brief moment in which depositors far outpace withdrawals, which is crazy, with 27,000 ETH deposited and only 7,000 ETH withdrawn. Quote, top deposits so far has come um, have come from a few entities, Lido, OKX, of course, these are huge, huge in well, institutions, quote unquote, OKX. Uh, Kilnfy, Frax, and uh, Lee said Lee. However, most notably from uh, this wallet that we have labeled as P2P ETH2 depositor, they deposited 50,000 ETH. So uh, another um, interesting point was, well, a lot of these big uh, entities and maybe institutions are going to withdraw ETH because they're on hard times and they need that money to keep things going, right? To keep the business going. So me seeing OKX and other big entities uh, take ETH out, you know, it's not a huge deal. It, 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 you know, obviously par for the course, right? Quote, it's expected to see a surge at the start since, as mentioned above, even validators that want to uh, continue staking would want to withdraw their accrued earnings and restake it, he told the crypt. At press time, there are more than 80, 874,000 ETH still waiting to exit the network. Based on current trends, though, it's likely that some of the ETH will get put right back to work. So that's good stuff, man. It's good stuff, and it's making the market look really, really strong, right? We have ETH at $2,100 this morning, which is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I got the chat roasting me right now. Uh, FTX will be bought out right away. Yeah, I'm sure it's it's it still has decent. I mean, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I don't know if it would be successful, but I couldn't imagine that it would just if it opened up, you know, um, under new management. I could imagine it being that bad. What's up, Awandi? How you doing, baby? Um, Juice Jim says they're forced to stake because transaction fees. I don't think transaction fees are not that bad. I don't think the transaction fees are that bad, you know. Uh, South Park, we'll talk more about that a little later. But um, so that's the Ethereum news. Do me a favor, smash that like button, push up in the old algorithm. Let's see, that's 22. All right, and then we have... A hack. So another cryptocurrency exchange hacked, baby. Bitru Exchange. Uh, crypto exchange Bitru suffers $23 million hack due to hot wallet exploit. Now, this is similar to what happened at Bitmart, man. Remember uh, Bitmart, and I think it was December 2021, had a huge hack. Millions of dollars, too. And so the reason why that got hacked is because it was some sort of phishing scam. So somebody working in uh, probably same thing with Bitru or Bitru and, and and Bitmart was probably on uh, online, you know, just working at their desk, you know, and they got a little email that says local singles in your area. Click me. I want to meet up with you. And they clicked it because they're lonely. And boom, they suffer a huge hack. So these hot wallet exploits are not really uh, new to the space, but it's just another one getting hacked. Now, uh, with the Bitmart hack was OK. A lot of people were able to withdraw their funds. I remember I had my Saitama at, at, in Bitmart at that time because I was just paranoid about my DeFi wallet getting hacked. But uh, it turned a lot of times these exchanges cover this sort of thing. Right. It's not a, this is not like an exchange shutting down or something like that. But at the same time, I remember that they did pause withdrawals. And so like you couldn't do what you wanted to do with your crypto. So not your keys, not your crypto. Make sure you have some sort of ledger or hard wallet or something to give you true power over your crypto. So not a huge deal, but another hack in the space. And it seems like these sort of hacks and exploits happen every single week in crypto. Last week, we had the sushi swap uh, exploit, which, uh, you know, a, a person that was, uh, you know, notorious in the space got wrecked and no one really cared because that guy is, a, you know, no one likes that guy. Uh, but you know, so not your keys, not your crypto, just make sure you protect your crypto. So it says crypto exchange, uh, Bitru suffers $23 million hack due to hot wallet exploit. Bitru executives promised to fully compensate all the identify users affected by the hot wallet hack that accounted for 5% of all funds on the exchange. That's a huge, 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 huge hit. 
It says, uh, Bitroot Cryptocurrency Exchange has suffered a hot wallet exploit, allowing attackers to withdraw various crypto assets uh, worth nearly $23 million. Announcing the news on April 14th, Bitroot said that it had temporarily suspended all withdrawals due to a, quote, brief exploit of its hot wallet. The firm expects to reopen withdrawals on April 18th, 2023, after conducting additional security checks. So if you have right your money on this exchange, I mean, you're not going to be able to get it back, right, for a th four, four days. I mean, you're going to get it back, but you won't be able to withdraw anything for four days. Now, that's super inconvenient, right? Really, really inconvenient. Right. And so, of course, this is the tweet. So it says the attackers were able to withdraw assets worth approximately $23 million. So they took ETH, Quant, Gala, Shib, Hot, and Matic. What's hot? What's hot? What is hot? So, Holo? A uh, hell of Holo. No clue what that, no clue what that is. It says to conduct additional security checks, bit rule to so it's pretty much to conduct security checks for days of not being able to withdraw. So Bitru stressed that it was able to address the matter quickly, which allowed the platform to prevent the further draining of funds. Quote, we take this matter seriously and are currently investigating the situation. Bitru stated, adding that the effect that hot wallet only accounted for less than 5% of the exchange overall funds, uh, funds, the firm wrote. Quote, the rest of our wallets continue to remain secure and have not been compromised. We are conducting a thorough security review and will update you as we make progress. So what's interesting is that it's probably going to be an employee or someone, right, that clicked on a link or something like that. That's not going to be good, right? So we'll see what happens, but I'm sure some employee is going to get in trouble for, you know, something. Honda says, I have some holo. <clears throat> Sam Beckman Freed is behind the hat, correct? Not this one, not Bitru, no. Um, the other one, uh, when it came to um, uh, that hack that happened right when FTX collapsed, I mean, you could say so, right? I mean, people were uh, saying that a bunch of money was being moved, but no one really knows, right? It's DeFi. So we'll see what happens, but it's hard to tell, right? It's hard to tell. Um... Yeah, but I don't think the transaction fees for uh, ETH is that is that bad. I don't think they're forced to stake, right? So, not your keys, not your crypto. Make sure you safeguard your crypto with a ledger. We're gonna be doing a ledger giveaway here in a few weeks. Give me one second. And the last story of the day. Is going to be the whole Cash App scandal. So, Bob Lee, CPO of MobileCoin, right? Startup advisor at an angel investor, former CTO of Square, and creator of Cash App, help uh, helped create Android. This guy was murdered a about a week ago. So, a Cash App suspect, a Cash App suspect in the murder of uh, founder Bob Lee identified. So, Bob Lee, the former chief technology officer of Square and the founder of Cash App passed away after a stabby incident in San Francisco. His death was confirmed on Tuesday, April 4th. It was confirmed following a police response to the incident at approximately 2.35 a.m. local time. According to reports, a 43-year-old man was found with apparent stab wounds. So now, according to the latest reports, San Francisco advisor uh, Aaron Pesky has stated that an arrest has been made in the Cash App founder Bob Lee's murder. So this was the theory. Apparently, MobileCoin... Uh, is a is a cryptocurrency project, right? Designed for everyday transactions, private, fast, and easy to use, just like cash. So a lot of people thought that this was some sort of, uh, 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 you know, kind of like it, it, he was a setup, right? Pretty much, you know, he's fighting against big, big, uh, you know, uh, big banks and, and traditional finance. And, you know, they sent someone out to murder him. But it turns out that he was murdered by Nima Mo Momeni, he's identified as Bob Lee's murderer. So check this out. Details from the San Francisco police report, uh, police department, excuse me, have revealed the suspect's, suspect's name to be Nima. According to his LinkedIn profile, Mr. Momeni lives in Emeryville in the Bay Area. So Mr. Momen Momeni, Momeni is the owner of Expand IT. Expand IT describes itself as a one-stop technology and security provider uh, for enterprise software companies. So maybe a competitor? It says Mr. Momeni said on his profile that he had worked as a, quote, dedicated technology partner 
supporting clients in healthcare, finance, and startups at several tech firms in the Bay Area and San Jose since 2005. So people may think that, uh, you know, so he was arrested on uh, at 9, 19 a.m. yesterday, right? And this is what he looks like. This guy right here. So maybe a competitor. I mean, this is his LinkedIn profile right here. You know? So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why he would do that, what would happen. But it looks like that conspiracy theory is crushed. You know what I mean? I don't know. Frank Q says, it's very suspicious that... No, nah, Mononoke Ini was not linked to uh, a, a SPF at all, right? So this guy is the one who murdered the Cash App developer. So very, very sad. Very, very sad news. But uh, uh, it's not some sort of conspiracy like a lot of people thought. A lot of people thought like, you know, he was murdered because of this cryptocurrency product that was going to change finance and, and stuff like that. But very, very sad, man. Just goes to show you how like precious life is and how fast uh, you can lose it all, right? And that's pretty much all of the news, right? That's pretty much all of the news today. There's not much really going on. There's a few things. I like this little report that says that US dollar has lost 98% of its purchasing power since 1971. That's why we got, we got, we got we knew, that's why we need Bitcoin, baby. That's a crazy statistic. You know what I like to do sometimes? Like, um, I've been watching a lot of old school movies. Like, I was watching this movie, uh, Weird Science. And uh, uh, there's a part where, like, so the weird science about these these kids who create this, like, perfect girl, like a doll, or like, like, like a robot, like a perfect robot girl, Dee Dee, whatever. But um, they stay out late one time, and they come home, and one of the brothers is, like, a big bully. And he's, like, he's talking to his little brother, like, you need to pay me $175. Or like, uh, I'm going to tell my, uh, tell mom on you that you had a party last night or some shit like that. And I was like, Hmm, what was $175 worth in 1985? So the value of 175 in 1980. So $175 in 1980 is equivalent to the purchasing power of about $638 today. That just goes to show how much the dollar is just declining right and of course healthy inflation is two percent year over year you know what i mean you know what i mean um yeah yeah south park but the people thought it was like a government person right it's just another uh, it's another um competitor right Uh, bad business dealings gone wrong dude rolled the dice because he wanted to slice yeah it's tough man just goes to show you man you know what i mean just goes to show you, uh, it just goes to show you that, uh, you know, life is precious, man. It doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter how much money you have. We're all just, we're all just bags of flesh, man. We're all just flesh bags. You know what I mean? So we're all very vulnerable. So live life the way, the way you want to live it. Right. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the other news. And then, oh yeah. So this is pretty interesting. So U S Supreme court to allow $6 billion in student loan debt to be canceled. Now, People complain about this, but I don't think this is a red and blue thing. Like, I don't fine. Let people's student loan debt get canceled. It's like we're sending fucking money um, overseas at an insane pay at pace. We can't just help some of the people out here. And I know people say, well, if you don't want student loan debt, then no, it's like, no, 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 no. You don't understand how the, the, the student the student loan system works. Literally, when you're 18 years old, you cannot qualify for a new car unless you have a cosigner. You're not going to get a good credit card unless it's a secured credit card or a cosigner. So, but they will allow you to take tens of thousands of dollars out for student loans to live off of. And I know people say, well, don't sign the paper, guys. But 18 years old, Jesus, when do you remember when you were 18 to 19 years old? Do you think that you're, you know, you're wise? No, your brain's still developing, right? It's like we should not allow kids to be able to take out tens of thousands of dollars to go to some dumbass college across the United States or, uh, you know, you know, like out of state. You know what I mean? Or sometimes overseas taking out massive amounts of money. It's like that's not no. No, we can't allow kids to do that. You know what I mean? Because they will. And the crazy thing about these student loan debt is that, you know, it's not just for school. It's for living costs, too. So you're giving kids unlimited power. You know, it's like it doesn't make any sense, right? What's up, Jake? Jake G? What's up, baby? You know, so um, that's pretty interesting, right? Always ready. Um, so looks like uh, Daddy Biden's coming through on one of his promises, which right in time for re-election, right? <laughs> Thought that was very, very interesting, right? Um, this is pretty interesting. And Jake had actually a, a funny co uh, comment here. So it looks like Solana is going to be launching their smartphone by May 8th called the Solana Saga. Now, this better come with, um, so, 
<clears throat> another I paid off my student loan debt. Others to stop too. Yeah, but the, you gotta understand, Jake, that the the system is just jacked up. It's not it's not right. I know you did it like great, but it's it's jacked up for for most people. It's like you shouldn't allow eighteen year old kids to take out that much money. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense, right? Um, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Um, if if that's the case, then why don't you allow them to get a new car? You know, why don't you allow them to get a new credit card? It's like they don't because they know that they they don't they they're not, they, they can't do that. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm expecting this phone to this not work half the time or come with a preloaded wallpaper of a uh, SBF on it. So, I mean, how many people are going to get this phone? I know, I know I made a point like about a, a year or two ago when they, they hinted at this, it's like, yeah, I mean, you know, iPhones are here and Androids are here until they're not right. They're not, it doesn't mean they're going to, they're going to dominate. They're going to dominate all the time. Right. So, uh, what link, uh, bud? Let me see who posted a link in the TG. Is it right now? Right now? Give me a second. Blah. What's this? What's this article? Is this new? Okay. It says House Committee threatens SEC over missing Bakeman free documents. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? This is interesting. Hold on. Let me, let me put a. Uh... Let's go, Jake. Let's go, Jake G. Too effing bad. They earned the debt. It's their debt. We are all doing stealing from taxpayer to give money to to the elites. Fucking Rodney, wake up! No, I don't. I don't think it's not. A, it's not a red versus blue thing. It's like you don't let kids take out that much money. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying right there. You just don't let kids uh, uh, take out that much money. That's my point. It's like I, I understand. I get it. It's like it's their choice. But look at we don't we don't allow 18 year olds to do a lot. We don't allow them to fucking drink. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's like, what, you know, we're going to allow them to take out, we're going to allow them to go to 100K in debt to go to some fuck. It's like, no, we don't, no, no. School, the school fucking system's rigged. It's not good. You know what I mean? It's, this is not, I think people think this is a Democrat versus Republican thing. It's just really not. It's just like, don't let kids do shit like that. You know and I mean, it's, it's really not. You know what I mean? Uh, this is interesting. I wonder how true this is, though. It says House Committee threatens SEC over missing Bakeman free documents. Gens are now until April 18th to turn over the documents that are related to the investigation. <laughs> yeah, so that's the interesting part, right, about this whole situation is that we all knew that. Um, well, now we knew that uh, we, we know that, you know, SBF and Gary G, they have like a little bit of a history, right? Everyone, you know, they their families know each other and stuff like that. And like, I think it was what Caroline Allison's dad is used to be Gary Genzer's, you know, boss. And then, you know, uh, Sam McMahon Freed's parents are regulators and those sorts of things. But, you know, I don't know. You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay. For, okay. But if we're, if we're adults, all right, here's the thing about the, the, my argument is why don't we just let an 18 year old take out a brand new car, a loan on a brand new car, right? Say if an 18 year old goes into a dealership and says, Hey, I want, to take out a loan on a brand new car, a fucking hundred K Mercedes, hundred K. They won't do it because they're, they have no credit. I want the new best credit card when I'm 18 years old. You're not going to get it without a cosigner. Why? Cause you have no established credit, but then a kid can go in there and be like, yeah, I want fucking hundred K to go to some school across. It's like, no, but to me, it's just better parenting. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, no, you're not going to go to school out of state. Cause I can't afford that. You know, you know, just stuff like that. But I don't know. There's arguments, but, I don't know. We spent a lot more money on other things. Trust me. Uh, this is interesting. So I've always thought, like, is there going to be some sort of connection with SBF and uh, SBF and uh, uh, the SEC? I don't know. Um, we have. Oh, yeah. I just got it right now. So 10 months, 10 months. Let's go. Jake G is a member for 10 months. That super eggplant looks oh so nice next year. Let's go, baby. And Jayhawk, 10 months now for the 15. Let's go, Jayhawk. Let's go, baby. Two more months until you get those uh, Ethereum logos. I don't I don't want to hear Jake talking because Jake don't Jake don't mean acknowledging nobody on his chat. <laughs> one of us. One of so let me let me just skim through this a second, uh, for a second. The SEC is facing pressure from the House Committee of an service to produce documents related to recent charges filed against former FTX CEO Sam McAfee, Committee and Subcommittee Chris Patrick Henry and Bill Huzinga. Huzinga, <laughs> geez, that last name is nuts. Sent a that's interesting. Huzinga, wow. Um, 
Define in front of Let's see. In the letter, McHenry and Huizenga criticized SC Jerry Gensler and his insufficient committee to comply with the committee's documents request. So, you know, contrary to what people think, like it's not the SEC's job to crack down on FTX because it's, it's a different thing they've been cracking uh, down on other cryptocurrency exchanges for. I know a lot of people are like, bro, you're going after XRP, bro, you're going after freaking, uh, you're going after uh, Binance, but we're just not going after, uh, uh, you know, um, FTX, but they're not going after them for the same things, right? Rolando, good morning, good morning. How you doing? How you doing? And Roger says, 10 months now, 100 years next. Let's go, Roger. Congratulations on 10 months as a degenerate. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Hit him with the 100 years. Let's go. Let's go. Sackle Hunt flexing with the 14th month super degenerate. Let's go. That pickle looks oh so nice next to your name. Chills, bro. <laughs> Sackle, why are you flexing? With the ETH logo, baby. Dude, I need to get a tan, bro. Look how white I am, bro. Look at look how white I am, bro. I need to get a tan. Oh, baby. But I can't go in the sun because of my tattoo. So I am not getting tan. At least not yet. I need to FUD something. Can't FUD FTT or block Toby now since I have them. <laughs> Let's go. Your name has to be Web Surfer Guy or Crypto Noah or AFL for Jake to shut you out his chat. <laughs> Dude, Web Surfer Guy, bro. Just breaking bread, bro. Bro, just breaking bread, bro. I know you ain't talking, Jayhawk. I know you ain't talking with them chicken noodle arms, baby. What's up, fan? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I know you ain't talking with them chicken noodle arms. Frank says, I, I co-signed my son who is five into my credit card to build up his credit score. Wait, can you do that at five? I don't need that at five, can you? I don't know. What's going on with the pullback? Is there a pullback? Edgar says, I still think I'm getting rugged on my membership. <laughs> Wait, is there a pullback right now? There's a pullback right now. The markets are looking good. Oh, Bitcoin a little bit, but still looking pretty decent. Um, see me in the TG boy. What's up, babies? How y'all doing? Good morning. Good morning. Great morning to you all. Great morning. Great morning. Uh, that much of a pullback right now. Everything's looking good. I'm going to try to make an XRP video today. See if people actually watch it. Because people like XRP, dude. I don't know. I, I feel like everybody... Uh, every, like, I, like I said, I put up two polls recently. And I asked people, like, what would you add to your portfolio? And it's, like, overwhelmingly XRP. And I'm just like, how many people watch me that actually like XRP? I guess a lot of people who like XRP watch me. Uh, Yeah, no, ASMR fan. Yeah, nah. I feel better, though, than yesterday. I'm going to sleep all day today. Well, I'm going to work out too, but <laughs> I know you ain't talking, Jayhawk. First of all, Taco Stand in La Jolla, California, San Diego, mid, very mid. Yes, you can add your kids when they are young. By the time they hit 18, they can have a credit score of 700. That's good, but um, you want to have a thick credit file too. But even, even still, yeah, that's good parenting right there. See, good parenting. Good parenting. That's what we like to see, baby. That's what we like to see. So we'll have to see what's up with this story. This is a, this is an interesting story here, but um, you know, I mean, if this if if, if Gensler has anything to do with like protecting Sam Bankman Fried, it'll be it'll be bad. It'll be bad, right? Obviously, bad. Um, do I remember the Island Boys? I remember the Island Boys, man. They were a flash in the pan, right? Our likes is great day in the San Fernando Valley. Is it hot over there? Thank you so much, Javi. Yes, smash the like button, baby. Push us up in the old algorithm. Let's go. It's not a bad, it's not a bad uh, bag, Slim Jesus. It's not a bad, it's not a bad bag, you know. If XRP wins, it'll be huge. It'll be huge for the um, uh, cryptocurrency world. Uh, Awande says we're finally dumping a bit. Yeah, and you know, a lot of people are probably going to freak out about a little bit of a dump, but it's like, you know, I mean, guys, what goes up crazy must come down a little bit at least. How much X would he have? How much XRP would he have? I don't know. Wait, what, what do you mean, Cool Cat? Uh, Javi, yes, smack that like button. I fucking love Javi. Love of you. The island boy just trying to make it. I think those guys are like selling their teeth now and all kinds of crazy shit. So I'm an island boy. <laughs> Dude, how about Terrarium, man? Jeez, Terrarium. You know what's crazy about Saitama? At least they're still here. I'm gonna make a video about that saying, at least they're still here. 
<laughs> at least say Tom is still here. At least they have it pulled the rug. Right? Uh, Freeze this says, don't call a little pullback a dump. Bull rally, baby. Let's go. Let's go. What color are you getting your tats? Oh, I'll show you. All right. So look at this baby. Look at that. Uh, yeah. So this is a, a chrysanthemum. First of all, big flex. My chrysanthemum, I don't know. I told him to just do what he wants to do. You know what I mean? I told him to just do what he wants to do. Um, so I don't know. This is going to be white right here, white and yellow, probably green. But the the, the little, the Hanya, the Hanya mask, right? The Hanya is going to be green mostly. I wanted red, but he said green better. I'm like, all right, you do you, bro. And then uh, that's all I really know. So he's going to touch up some of the black a little bit because it still needs to be touched up. But yeah, it's going to be sick. Volt is dumping. Let's see. Volt isn't dumping. Volt is. Oh, actually, Volt is ha must have had a huge sell. Hold on. Yeah. I mean, I know a lot of people don't encourage people to sell, guys. But, dude, make, dude take your profits, dude. I don't care what other people say. Take your profits. Don't care. No. 34 ETH. And that was. Yeah, that was. Yeah, someone just sold 34 ETH. You know, take your profits, man. Everyone's going to take. Like, the other day, someone sold a bunch of MMAI, too. And people were, like, accusing Austin of selling MMAI. It's like, that wasn't Austin. Like, 25 ETH, right? Wag me. The other day when I made the Mononoke Inu video, like, um, the, wait, I don't, yeah, I don't think it's white, but uh, I made a, a Mononoke Inu video. Someone swapped Wagging for Mononoke Inu. It's like, no, no, why? Which one of you guys did that? I don't want you guys did that. Don't do that, you know? Johnny Play says, yeah, there's a pullback because this jackass Fed Weller talked all this shit on CNBC this morning. Uh, they need to eth eth uh, shut the fuck up and stop trying to look important. Pal is the only one who should be talking. Yeah, yeah. Your super chat didn't work. I didn't see a super chat. Suckle. Uh, dude pulled from wag me and put 25k of that profit into wet. Wait, what did you see? Jayhawk? What do you mean? What do you mean? How did they pull and put it back? So she says for the record, I'm not a Beatles maxi. It's just the majority of people say that they have the bet, the bet of all time. Of course it's of subjective. Well, I mean, the Beatles were like, I don't think the Beatles are that good, but I, you know, other people do. And they're like one of the best. They're not, they're not like considered the best band of all time for no reason. Like they're considered the best band because people like them. So. You're gonna love this. Saitama product saw a block honey party. What do you mean? <sighs> How much to get your face tattooed? <laughs> Wait, what do you where do you want to get tattooed? <laughs> I, I love a Wandy, bro. It's a it's a treat following a Wandy on the fucking uh, on Instagram. No face tats. I'm not tatting my face. Why can't I get a job? <laughs> why can't I? Why won't anyone hire me? Because <laughs> your fucking face is tattooed. Let's just chat a little bit. I'm in the chatty mood. Let's chat. That's right, Melissa. Tell him. Tell him. Weapons on safe, baby. Samuel says, I am blocked from the chat or something. It's been months since Rodney doesn't read. Samuel, I've read your comments, Samuel. What I see you. I don't know. Sometimes my mods be wilding. But... They pulled the money, so you're getting paid. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't see it, but yeah. I don't know. YouTube's a little weird sometimes. A little wonky. StreamYard really needs to like update their other stuff. I think they'll have a big update. What's up, awesome? We do be wild. Austin Buck called me yesterday. Out of respect, I hung up. I didn't want to hear what he's saying in his personal time, but me and Austin talked like an hour yesterday. Man, I had some really mid tacos last night. I'm still thinking about it because last night was like one of my cheat meals because I'm not gonna have a lot of. I only have like one one to two cheat meals a week, and I had some tacos last night. And they were just so mid. And I'm just mad. They were mid, so mid, so mid. Like not good tacos, right? Um, let's see if there is any more crypto news. That's so crazy, right? Purchasing power is just like down, like down bad. I know you ain't talking, G man. Do birria tacos? Oh, uh, uh. right. Let's go. I was talking to you. We had a uh, first of all, they didn't give me no hot sauce. One. A little date night at, at, at like a stay home date night last night, and we ordered tacos and like, dude, just bad, bro. Just mid, mid. <clears throat> Edgar says Roddy's white side is like Edgar. You're not black, are you? 
mid tacos. I'm sorry, bro. I know, right? You had birria tacos? Dude, I'm moving in, bro. Fan, I'm moving in. My next two days are gonna be a bunch of fried chicken. I don't want to hear your fucking opinion. I know Jayhawk's over there salivating when I said fried chicken. You can't help it. But Jayhawk's mouth is water right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Motherfucker. Dude, I cook every single day. What you talking about, bro? Yeah, I know, Rod. We gotta get some good tacos, bro. Cause I'm an island boy. I gotta go to the grocery store. Dude, fried chicken's so good. I think the last time I had a fried chicken was Popeye's. First of all, banging. Better than uh, KFC. I'm sorry. I, and I thought KFC was the best. Maybe I just had some bad KFC. But I had some Popeye's one time. That shit was bussin'. Had a couple of breasts because, you, duh, some wings. Their uh, biscuits are good as fuck. A little bit of hot sauce on them. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah, we got a flame uh, Jayhawk one time. I think there's any more cryptocurrency news. Let's check my feed. <clears throat> Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I mean, people. Yeah, people are selling Volt, but you know, that's the nature of the game. This is why I always say, like, you know, you can't you do what's best for you. You know what I mean? Like, do what's best for you. Do you mind? Okay, Inu's rugging. I can't wait to make a video on this today. Look at this shit's rugging again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, look at this. Uh, but you you, you, you got to do you, right? You got to do what, what works best for you, right? What What's best for your specific situation? You know what I mean? Um, don't pay attention to what Telegram say. Don't pay attention to what anybody says. It's like, you know, I don't think there's, there's anything you should learn that you should have learned. And, and what I've seen, the, the most glaring thing I, I've learned from the, the last year and a half that I've been making content is you just got to do what's best for you. And you don't regret not taking profits when you could have. Like Jake said, he met that that guy at a hotel the other day, that new Jake Gagan because of Saitama. And he asked him, did you sell? He said, no. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, forget about what everybody else says, right? Do what's best for you. Do what's best for you, you know? And so we're seeing that with Volt. Like someone sold, what, 40-something ETH. It's like it's still a good project, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, it, it just people are taking profits. So, and they're going to keep taking profits. So, so should you, you know what I mean? Obviously, if it, if it doesn't make sense to take profits, then you know what I mean? Like right now, I would just just sell all your money, monkey. Yeah, why not? You know, what I mean, everybody just sell right now, massive sell. You know what I mean? <laughs> just kidding. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No, not even us, man. You know, I mean, you can listen to us sometimes, but not like don't worship everything we say because we don't fucking know, bro. No one, no one knows. No one knows anything, right? No one knows anything. We know some stuff, but we don't know everything, right? Oh my god. I've been following the the wrong clear value tax. Dude, clear value tax, get your shit verified, bro. Take those profits, you jeets, right? MMA has a new one, okay? <laughs> that monkey puppet. Johnny Boy says, yeah, okay, I agree with you, Rodney, but damn, bro, dude, doesn't even have a total, a totally wreck the fucking chart just to take profits. Yeah, I get it, but, like, you know, everybody's doing their own thing. You know what I mean? Like, every healthy chart has, like, these whales and paper hands and hodlers and traders. Like, you know, you know, you know what I mean? Uh, some of our friends said you got scammed. Well, he's not offering anything, but that it's crazy, fan. That one's verified, though, you know what I mean? That one's verified. Dude, this this tattoo right here on my fucking trap is the, the itchiest one of all time. This is so itchy. It says live fast, eat ass. Um, just kidding. But uh uh yeah, fan, it pumped. So Mononoke went from having seven thousand dollars in daily tra trading volume to half a million in two days, which is crazy. Yes, the peer chain is looking good. Yes, it is. That's me. All these red, all these red lines are here. Me cheating. No, I only have, I only have a few thousand dollars in MMAI. But since uh, Austin's gonna get this thing to a, a multi-billion dollar market cap and make us all rich, yeah, you know, it's not bad. Oh yeah, oh yeah, woo. Uh, he did fan, but uh, you know, speaking with echoes from above, it sounds like a money grab. Echoes from above did a video on it. It just does not sound. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Clear value tax is the guy I want to uh, give the benefit. Yeah, but it's a crypto, I think. It's a crypto project. It's a token, right? Let's go, Jake. 
I like to hump like a monkey. Let's go. Oh, dude, one billion dollars, bro. Dude, one billion dollars would be nice, you know. <clears throat> Let's go. Yeah, so you guys do what's best for you. You know what I mean? Just do what's best for your personal situation, right? Terra V3 strong. Are they doing a V3 or are they just restructuring their company? I, I, how is that gonna work? Does anybody know how that's gonna work with the Terra or the Terrarium situation? Weird. Very, very weird. You know? I know Slim Cheeses. It's going to be a great video, dude. I can't wait to make this video, honestly. Like, Mononoke Inu rug pulling twice, you know? How are you going to rug twice, right? How are you going to rug like that two times, you know what I mean? Uh, G-Man says, buy high, sell low, chasing candles all day. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go away. <laughs> buy high, sell low, baby. Let's go. That's how we do it over here. That's how we do it, baby. I like that, Awesome. I like that. I like that. Awesome. stop flooding my bag, bro. Stop funny my bag, bro. My bag of terrarium. I remember the I remember the day I sold it out of my last terrarium token. I was like, I can fucking think. Good riddance. Thank God, you know. That product is toxic, bro. It's toxic. 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 More crypto news. Let's see. Crypto news. Crypto news. Nothing really much going on. Yeah, a lot of it's about the the Ethereum upgrade and stuff like that. But see what our big winners are. Arbitrum still pumping. Taboo token. I love Doge CEO. I love I love to see that. I love to see that. How much is it to get listed on Quinn Market Cap? Uh, Fan is about to hit me with the flip flop. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> Pow! The chanclas, the pantuflas, the pantuflas. <laughs> The Pantiflas. Nice. Looks like this is the new Peer Chain logo. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it. Boeing's really incredible. Sell. So, fucking crypto. I fucking love Jeremy. Jeremy, make more content. Uh, Dude, Russ's ex-wife is wild and on Twitter, bro. I want to make more content about it, but I'm really just making sure I just stay away from the fucking actual, like, real, real, like, grimy. What's up, Tom Crown? So very interesting. Wait, you can't sex change for your child in Florida? Any parent or doctor who sterilizes their child before they are consenting, I should go to prison for life. I love that. I fucking love that. Uh, Ron, the sense of desperation for power is destroying the entire state. You know, this is crazy. Dude, kids cannot decide. I don't know. You got to I'm not going to get into that right here, but that's that's nuts, dude. You know? That's nuts. It's nuts. Um, fan is basically a shake program called Arborn with two or three snacks and one meal a day. And uh, wait, what, what is that? I bought thirty k of Arborn made for it. Let's go, awesome! Sold that shit. Let's go. That's a nice little game. What's up, gamer doc? What's up with Volt? Big big sell off. Someone sold forty something ETH. Um, Saitama to the moon. What do you think of Uniswap wallet coming out? Maybe easier to, to do a cross chain. Yeah, that's interesting, right? That's 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 cool as fuck. Uh, yeah, cross chain. Uh, I don't think Uniswap has any. I don't think they service any chain but the Ethereum blockchain, right? But that's cool uh, that they have a I mean, maybe inside their wallet. Maybe I don't know, but yeah, I think that's cool that they have a wallet. I mean, I don't think a lot of people are going to switch over, right? I think people that use MetaMask are still going to use MetaMask and Coin. I like, you know, I really, I really like Coinbase Wallet. I think their Coinbase Wallet is pretty solid. I know some people have issues with it, but I know Ozam Austin. Yeah, Russ's ex-wife came into. She sent me a DM. She was mad as fuck because <clears throat> I briefly because Ponzi Slayer has been posting like uh, pictures of her on um, on his uh, Twitter and like roasting her and stuff. And I like I, I briefly mentioned like so, like some of the drama, and she just got all mad. And I was like, I, I'm like, I have nothing against you. I literally have nothing against you. You know what I mean? I'm trying to stay out of the personal stuff. You know, if I really wanted to get into it and get content, I'm telling you, people would watch. If I made a content about what their personal shit was going on every single day, people would watch the shit out of it. A lot of people would because people like that drama. But I, even I think like that's too much. 
like talking about his ex-wife and this i think that's too much you know and then she's like she's threatening to like get sue me and stuff or like you know it's like they're public pictures on a public place like you're not gonna win any lawsuit you know what i mean like you, you can't sue somebody because they're using pictures of like mug shots and pictures you know what i mean uh, that are publicly available to the it's like no that's not how that that's not how any of this works you know it's fair use <clears throat> Yeah, so that that's been a feedback. Volt seems to be a little toxic as well. That's been a lot of, of the feedback that I've gotten too. But you know, every influencer does their own thing, right? You know, it, it's kind of lame that people like you know. There are a lot of people in the Volt community that they're not like that though. There's just a few, right? There's just a few that are like that. That is a big. That is big feedback. That is big feedback I've been getting from a lot of people. That is toxic. So, it's not all like that though. You just there's a few, right? Cool and Chris, what's up, baby? Uh, I heard of Casper, yeah. Yeah, Osmond awesome doesn't like Coinbase Wallet, yeah. The good thing about Volt is that it has survived the worst part of the bear market, and we have a little more, f- uh, but Volt will pump. I think Volt's going to absolutely send. It is stupid to see Volt when you have to pay 13%. And then, uh, yeah, the taxes are super, super high. It's super, super high. Arbitrum is rugging. So Tom is coming out uh, with an uh, a chain, a gold-plated chain. <laughs> Remember that whole, like, not the promo video, but that, that radio station promo? Yes, say Tama spinning it. What well, he said, spin the wheel on that. Like that soup, stupid ass. Where is it? Let me, let me play that video. First of all, shout out for Chad Redding for absolutely killing the algorithm. Chad Redding literally just takes a video of his face and kills it. Just a video of his face. Wait, where's it? Right here. One of the new cryptos coming up, Saitama. I work with them. He works with them as well. You know what? You know, we were at the function in Vegas. They on, on and popping. And yeah, you know what I mean? Get ready, there son. Go. I keep telling y'all, get ready. Get Saitama, ready. get involved. You don't think you think I'm playing? I'm spending the chain on that, baby. <laughs> Saitama, <laughs> get in. <laughs> Anybody want to buy more Saitama after that? Anybody feel compelled to buy more Saitama? Yeah, I, th- I think Coinbase Wallet is pretty awesome. Yeah, I like it. You know, <clears throat> spin the chain on that. Say like Tama Future. <laughs> yeah, it was gnarly. These are fun. These shorts. I used to make a lot of shorts, man. Damn, son. Listen to this. Wow. I'm gonna play that. Fucking YouTube's gonna cancel me. Damn, dude. I used to be so creative, man. I used to be so creative. I had to do more funny spoofs, right? More spoofs. It's not. It's just not that fun to do any more spoofs. Remember the say the realty thing when they like literally stole somebody's shit? Look at this. Like literally. Oh, I check this out. They stole somebody's template. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, uh, literally, cool and Chris. Uh, yeah, that's what they're doing. Like, I mean, it's obvious, right? It's obvious. Shorts are so good for getting new subscribers. Yeah, maybe I need to make some. You know, maybe I should make some more like, um, hmm, maybe I should just do that. Maybe I should do like a, a short of like the whole coffee and crypto, you know? Yeah, Edgar, I did see the Uniswap wallet. I'll, I'm going to try it out. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be good. I'm going to try it out. I'm sure it's going to be good, you know? But I need more shorts, man. What's up, Peru? How you doing, baby? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I read the set up and thought I was going to be rich. I was so naive. I didn't delete those tweets either. Left them all up. Yeah, the Seda Real. Well, a lot of people made a, a bunch of money on Seda Realty. It's just when they went to pull out, there was uh, no fucking liquidity. You know what I mean? So that that there was that, right? <clears throat> Do you think do you think TikTok's gonna get banned? <clears throat> it's 
Is there an app that lets you do these background things, but that are, that's not TikTok? Is there an app that lets you do that? If, if, let me know if there's an app that lets you guys if, let you do that. If there's an app that lets you do that, I might as well just fucking send it. You know. Yeah, Seda Realty got a lot of people. You're not the only one, Cooler Chris. Seda, Seda Realty like tricked a lot of people. A lot of people. You wish uh, TikTok would get banned? Shut up, Edgar. <laughs> okay, you guys. <laughs> My keyboard is effing up this morning. But with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'll put out some uh, more content right now. I'll put out a Mono Mononoke Inu fear, uh, FUD video because it's funny. Because I get off to it. But I mean, we'll see, Ace. We'll see. But what's up, Professor? Y'all just walked in right an hour, you know? By the way, your upload game has been on point from ship to tectonic, all in between. Good content overall. Thank you so much, Cool and Chris. I do appreciate that, man. I, I just got to keep the volume going. Keep the volume going, you know? I think I'm doing like three videos a day now, which is not bad. So, all right, y'all have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day. Look out for some more content, and I will see you very, very soon. Uh, bye bye.